Hey guys, what is going on? Nope, not Bucky. My name is Harrison. I manage the YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Centex. That's S-E-N-T-D-E-X. As well as pythonprogramming.net. Both these places are where I give a bunch of Python programming tutorials. Basically everything ranging from the basics of Python all the way on to some intermediate topics as well as some advanced topics. So some of the topics that I cover there are things like machine learning, pattern recognition, image recognition, uh, robotics with the Raspberry Pi, algorithmic trading, uh, website development with like Django and Flask, as well as games. And it just so happens that Bucky saw one of my Pi game tutorials, so he had to have it. Who can blame him? So here I am teaching you lovely folks Pi game. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. What is Pi game? Obviously in the name, pretty simple. It is a gaming module for Python. So what Pygame is going to do for you is it's going to do a lot of the truly back-end stuff that are required for games. It's going to do those things for you while still allowing you to control your game's logic and all of the graphics for your game and that sort of thing. But as far as you know, more complex things like how do you actually uh, take in input, say, from the user, like how do we know what key is being pressed from the user, we throw that out, we give that to Pygame, Pygame does that for us, and then we just decide what we want to do with those results. So with that, to get Pygame, you go to pygame.org, and I'm actually on downloads at the moment, but this should be where you land, they just default to news.html. And you can, first of all, you can browse other people's projects. Chances are if there's a specific type of game that you can't figure out how to make, someone has made it for you already, and you can check out their game, see how they did it, and, uh, and move on. So uh, with that, when you go to pygame.org, you're going to want to head over to Downloads. Now, with a lot of things with Python, since Python is such a module-heavy language, sometimes just getting everything to work together before you can even program anything can kind of be uh, a challenge. <laughs> so Pygame is not uh, above that challenge. I know for sure Mac users have a hard time with Pygame. You may have to use uh, like Python 2.7 in the Pygame for 2.7. I don't know that Mac has any support for Python 3 onward. This tutorial is for Python 3, specifically Python 3.4, but you should have absolutely no problem following along in 2.7 as long as you make the necessary like syntax changes. So print will be, well, you don't have to change anything about print, but unless we throw exceptions, that should probably be the only major difference between these two things. So it, exception in Python 2.7 is except exception comma e, whereas in 3.4, except exception as e. So you'd have to make those small changes, but for the most part, all the code will be identical. So with that, uh, we can see here that we've got Windows downloads, you've got your Unix distributions, and then you've got your Mac uh, downloads here for 2.7. That's as good as it gets. Um, for Windows, you can either download here, you can do the uh, Windows installer, but if you'll see, the latest version for Windows is uh, 3.2. Well, the latest Python version is 3.4, so that's kind of irritating. And when you go to install this, it's going to look for pi, like C colon slash Python 32, not 34. So this is going to be problematic right out of the gate. But if you look uh, right here, they suggest that you go to this website here. And this website is a fantastic website. We're going to visit that now. I highly suggest you bookmark this website, especially if you're on a 64-bit version of uh, Windows and Python, uh, because a lot of uh, modules do not come with uh, 64 bit versions, they're just 32. And what he's done is recompiled them for you and built them as a 64 bit module. So we're interested in Pygame. I kind of scrolled around and lost it there, so let's just revisit. So as you can see here, we can look and there's an EXE for 3.4, both in uh, 64 bit, which is here, and then Win32 is 32 bit. So depending on what you are, uh, download whichever version. Obviously, if you're on Linux, download that. If you're on Mac, again, you have to use 2.7, sorry. Um, otherwise, if you're on Windows, download either the 64-bit uh, or the 32-bit. I'm 64, so that's what I would download, but I already have Pygame. So make sure you get that. Also, just as a quick aside, if you don't have Python, I'm going to go ahead and assume that people watching this tutorial already have Python and understand the basics of Python. If you don't already have Python, you'll need to download and install Python first before you try to install Pygame. It, otherwise, it won't find Python and it'll yell at you. So get that. Obviously, uh, you come here, go to downloads, and then you can pretty much use those quick options. 
But if you're 64-bit, these quick options are going to download a 32-bit version. You don't really want that, so you'd want to come down here and pick your the version you're interested in, which in our case is 3.4, and then you would keep going until you find, we'll go to the download page, and here we found our 64-bit installer. Okay, so just as a quick aside, uh, I'm assuming you guys know the basics. I'll try to go kind of slow the first time we go over any sort of thing, like the first time we hit a while loop, we'll kind of go slow over it. But if you don't understand the basics of Python, you can either check those out on Bucky's channel or my channel and probably help yourself that way. So um, so that's it with that. Once you have Pygame uh, downloaded, what we're going to be using, I just want to show you guys the environment. I like to program straight in IDLE, which is Python's default um, IDE. And uh, to get there, what you'd want to do, say you're on Windows, you should go to your start bar and uh, I, in fact, let me move this down for you guys. So you would go uh, to your start bar, all programs, and scroll down to you see Python. If you're on 2.7, you can use 2.7. We're using 34. So 3.4, click on that, and then you would click on IDLE, and that would bring up this window. And what this is is actually an interactive developer. We're not interested in interactive development right now. So you'd go File, New File, and that gives you a blank document and then from there we can type in this blank document save it and then later on we can run from that um, I'm gonna close that out because I already have one up but that's how you get to the development um, environment that I'm going to be coding in so uh, now that we have that the one major thing that we need to do from this point to figure out if we can progress into the next point is to do an import pie game so let's go ahead and run that really quick and make sure uh, that we get no errors because if we get an error we're in trouble so um, now that you have all the basics of Py, uh, Pygame, as long as you were able to make that import, everything worked out great. Uh, you're ready to move on to the next video where I'm going to show you guys basically the bare bones to every single Pygame uh, script uh, you have. So uh, stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching. And again, I am Harrison from YouTube.com slash Syntax doing videos for Bucky.